Hello YouTube, my name is LegoCraft75 and today I'll be making a video about my Lego Covenant Assault Carrier. Now the Covenant Assault Carrier is a big ass ship that the Covenant used in the Halo video games. Uh, they function as basically a battleship and an aircraft carrier, all combined into one. So it's a pretty tough ship. Very large too. It's effectively compar comparable in size to the Infinity. Hence why the Infinity was so big. It was the, you know, at the very least match these ships in size and weight class. And as you can see here, I have the Lego New York set right there as a good size comparison to show off, you know, showcase, you know, how big this is. I mean, after all, this is the Empire State Building and the Freedom Tower that was built after 9-11, so. And they are to scale to one another. Well, close enough. You know what I mean? It's hard to get an approximate scale with Lego because, you know, you're not building, you know, custom fit pieces to match this, the exact size to one another. You're using pre-built parts and trying to figure out how they combine together to make a Lego set that's not only accurate representation of the craft you're building, but also a similar scale to other ships that are built Within the same scale. <laughs> that makes sense. And uh, as you can tell, this is very much not color-coded at all. I, this is more of a passion project because I wanted to build a big Covenant ship to fight my other UNSC vessels. To have, like, cool little battle scenes all built and whatnot. Because, you know, I could and I wanted to. But, you know, I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of parts for it just to um, build it. So I figured, fuck it, you know, I'll just use whatever pieces I have left to build it. And I had quite a few, you know. There are definitely spots where I'm like, this is, I'm just literally scraping the bottom of the barrel to build this, you know. These sections all have stickered parts from all the LEGO sets I've ever owned, as well as, you know, miscellaneous parts bins I've acquired on eBay. So... I use those to just fill in the gaps and whatnot. Hell, there's still sections that are just wide open because, you know, I've ha I've, ooh, goodness, I'm still congested. I've ha I have con cannibalized this a few pl in a few places. As you can see here, these are some recent areas I pulled parts from because I wanted to build that thing right there. So I ripped parts out from there, here and there sort of thing. But, you know, that is what it is. I haven't really actually torn apart a mock in a very long time. Especially now that I have a steady income, I can afford to buy more pieces. That way, if I need certain parts, but technically I already have it, I can just buy more of it so I can keep a certain builds still intact while creating new builds. You know, eventually, I'll get to a point where I'll have to take apart old mocks and just, you know, use their parts like all these space station sections. I don't think I'll ever take those apart. If anything, I'll probably improve upon them further, but, you know, that'd be a prime example of what I would take apart first for, for pieces in an effort to, you know, have more parts at my disposal to build new creations. Let's, let's get a few more surround shots. Yeah. And uh, funny enough, I did actually have to buy some pieces for this build. It was more just structural integrity. Because, you know, I had parts to fill out sections. Oop. Fill out sections for the ship and whatnot. There are little feet down there. Here are the engines. Very, very basic. But, you know, it does the job quite nicely. You know, I had the parts to fill out sections. But I didn't have en enough piece, like, large parts. Like, here's a good example. Parts like these, you know. Long Technic pieces, you know, just long bricks to just, you know build off of you know it's very hard to build a structure with nothing but one by twos just saying <laughs> it's is it possible yes do you need an absolute fuck ton yeah also yes so i had to buy some parts let's see i also had to buy some other pieces too and this is like first time i ever used parts it's like oh as i was parts like these these are uh, lining the inside of the ship. I just use them as like a base plate for the inside to build off of. 
pen. These parts are great. <laughs> I've used a few in the Infinity, but not to that great of a great of length. Mostly because of how um I don't know, just the, the way it's shaped. Didn't allow for me to use that many. I probably could have done a better job about that, but you know. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> Yeah, so I use those. I use these extensively for the uh, for the space station build I had a little while ago. Because these work great. And, and I will say, if you want to buy some of these for yourself, very expensive at BrickLink. I think cheapest I got them for was 5 bucks. I mean, they're pretty large. I mean, this is a you know, Lego house build. That's the brick, you know? And that's a solid piece, too, with Technic connections on the side and everything. You name it. Very high-tech piece, if you will. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. And, of course, like with the Infinity, I also added more laser guns on it. Because in-game, in the Halo games, they don't really have a lot of, you know, surface-mounted guns on the ship. They just, you know... When they need the ship to fire a laser beam, they just have it fire out of, you know, out of nowhere, you know? It's just like, oh, here's a laser beam here. You know, stuff like that. Or here, like here. Like in Halo 2 when they're shooting that Marathon class cruiser as Master Chief is flying with a bomb. You know, it's just like, all right, cool. <laughs> you know? And I understand why they do that is because, you know, why waste time on pointless details like that when you could just, you know, get the general shape of the ship and then be done and just move on to other more important stuff, which I get, you know, me as a fan, I would just, I wish they would go that extra mile, but you know, I understand at the end of the day, you got to get what's done, what got to get the important stuff done first and just leave it at that. So yeah. And of course, as you can see here, these are the feet. Cause obviously, you know, there, I, this is just easier to just have built-in legs for it to stand on. And I got to stand here. I also got like a laser beam thing underneath there. I think I can probably lift this up to show it. it probably won't break it. Oh, uh, you know, that fucked everything. Never mind. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, uh, one other thing to talk about, too. This is actually the first uh, Lego star, uh, Starship build I had, where I implemented my, uh, as you can see here, very obvious handles, as I was trying to lift it up there. You know, I, this is my first design, prototype design of a Technic skeleton, because the whole ship is connected to these two points. So you lift them up at those two points, the ship lifts up, no matter what, you know? Very easy to move that way. Not a heavy either. It's like what, 35? Uh, not 35. Last time I weighed it, it was 31 pounds. Still feels heavy, but then again, I have been working out and that and lifting that that much lately. Just arm curls. That's really all I've been doing. So lifting it, it can be a little strenuous, but you know, that's whatever. It's nowhere near strenuous as lifting the infinity. Of course, with that one, I have a, you know, a bit more like, must make sure it doesn't fall energy, you know, to make sure it doesn't fall and break again on me because, you know, I don't want to waste another three days trying to repair it. Although if it did happen, that would give me an excuse to redesign it. But anyway, that's the Infinity, not the Covenant Assault Carrier. So yeah, built those. It was what, you know, led me to build that skeleton for the Infinity because, you know, I knew that thing was going to be fucking massive. So I needed to do that. So this is the uh, kind of the prototype of that. You know, not really meant to be hidden, but just to be there so that whenever I needed to, I can lift it up. Yeah, worked out quite nicely. So, yeah, that's that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.